My dudes, I bought way too many things from the Taiwan pop-up shop. Whoo! <laughs> What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have several different items from the Taiwan pop-up shop as well as a few items from Hong Kong. Uh, there are several different Taiwan pop-up shops that happen throughout the year. I always try to gather up as many items as I can that I really wanted. In this case I did get quite a few items that I wanted. Some of the items I wanted were sold out, some items were restocked later, so I did end up using a few different proxies to gather all of these things. The proxies that I used for this haul are No Country for Tall Men, Pandemonian, Rare Candy Shop, and Winnie Ho. If they have links, I will put those down below in the show notes. I have a lot to share with you, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I will go through each of these items as quick as possible so this video doesn't end up being an hour long. So first I got a couple more ceramic coasters. I love these kind of coasters because they actually dissolve moisture as opposed to some of the other coasters that you could get for Sailor Moon collaborations. Uh, these two were ones that I don't already have through the Taiwan pop-up shop. I have several of these, but I was not able to grab these during the last pop-up shop, so I was like, oh, they have them again. Please get them for me. So I got this one of the Inner Sailor Senshi with Crystal, and I got this one with Neptune and Uranus from Sailor Moon Crystal as well. These are actually shoulder bags, so you can see here in my hand I have a shoulder strap that you can clip onto the top of these cute little purses. I have uh, both of the holographic ones that you could get. I couldn't necessarily choose, but I think I like this one more, so I might end up reselling this one because I don't like it as much. But this one has Sailor Moon Crystal, and then it has her Fuku on the front of it in this pretty silver holographic. This one features Luna and Artemis on a crescent moon, and it's got this nice pink holographic texture in the background. And it also says Sailor Moon Crystal at the bottom of both of them. Now, again, just for a reminder, each of these items is licensed. They all have the Toei animation sticker on the items as well so if you're wondering about the Taiwan pop-up shots and if they are legit yes they are most of these are crystal items in fact I think all of these items are which means to me that crystal is probably easier to license uh, with different international companies so that's usually what you'll end up seeing I got an umbrella this is a large umbrella it's not something I could travel with but this features a bunch of bunny rabbits it's very very similar to to the one that Usagi carries in Sailor Moon Crystal uh, when it's raining outside in Zabu Juban. So I thought it was so freaking cute. If I lived in Japan, I would totally buy this and then I would walk around when it's raining in that neighborhood just so I can be like, ah, oh, it's Sailor Moon. But I do like that it says Sailor Moon on it. I like that it has the bunny rabbits. I think that it's really adorable. I can't wait to use it when it rains. It does say to maintain the life cycle of the article, make sure to dries up entirely and folds up after used in rain. So you can use this in rain, which I'm very excited to hear. Uh, oh, that's pretty. This is a bag that came from the pop-up store. So now I have a bag. I'm totally keeping this because I'm a weirdo. I keep my shopping bags if they have Sailor Moon on them. I also collect the advertisements. So anytime there is a flyer that you can collect, I totally try to grab one of those whenever I can. And I store those as well in pristine condition. They are so pretty to look at. And I love seeing how things are advertised uh, overseas as well. So I always think it's pretty cool to collect those kind of things. So these are three different large masking tapes. So first I have Princess Serenity, then I have one featuring the inner Sailor Senshi in their school uniforms, and then there's one with Tuxedo Mask, which is very handsome. Uh, the Tuxedo Mask one also has Sailor Moon on it too, which is cool, and the Princess Serenity one just has her, and the Inner Sailor Senshi one has all of the Inner Sailor Senshi, including Sailor Moon as well. These are really pretty, and they're also quite large, so I could definitely use these to, like, decorate something. What I would decorate them with, I have no clue, but I think they are very, very pretty. I got this cute little plushie of Tuxedo Mask to go with my Sailor Moon plushie that I also have, so I thought he was super cute. This right here, which is so freaking cool, is a 32 gig USB 3.0 flash drive. It's made out of a silicon rubberized material. The way that you get to your flash drive is by 
pulling on the head of the wand and that opens up the 3.0 flash drive. I like that it's 3.0. I like that it's 32 gig. I uh, wish that it was 64 gigs, but that's a really good size for transferring files. So I like this size, 32 gigs is great. I like the speed of USB 3.0. I think it's really cool that I was able to find something that's electronic since that is my day job is reviewing tech. Uh, that's also high speed. Would be cool to get USB-C, but we're not quite there yet. So this is cute. My proxy's got stamps. So I have stamps of Venus and Jupiter and Moon and the little bunny. That's adorable. I'm gonna put this with my other stationary collection. These are a couple of pin badges or buttons. Both of these I believe were random. So I think I just asked for two and I was able to get these two. So I got a chibi Sailor Moon and I got a Sailor Venus from Sailor Moon Crystal. This right here is a miniature stationary binder. So you could put a notepad in here, you could put business cards in here, you could put ID in here or your passport, uh, but it's small, so you can't put like an actual full-size large notepad in here or anything. You would have to stick to smaller items. I thought it was really cool. It has this nice elastic in the middle that you can put a pen through, and then it has plenty of different spots that you can put things. So lots and lots of places to put like your cards and your envelopes. You could use this for like a letter set if you wanted to. I think that would be cute. The front of it has Sailor Moon's Fuku. The back of it says in the name of the moon, I'll punish you, and it has Sailor Moon silhouette. It's not leather, even though it looks like leather, this is more of a pleather material. These are cards. There's two different versions of packs of cards here. These are trading cards. I know that these go for a lot of money on eBay. Uh, I know that they're hard to find. I was really excited that these were in stock, so I decided to go ahead and purchase a bunch of them. So I got four packs with the traditional Sailor Moon uh, cards, and then I got one pack with the Sailor Moon crystal cards. I already have a bunch of the crystal cards that I purchased from somebody on like Facebook, I think. So I didn't have any of these ones, so I wanted to make sure that I got a few of each, because opening blind bags is always quite fun. So with the Sailor Moon crystal ones, I got Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus. And this one I got a card of Sailor Moon. There's one of the girls in their school uniforms. There's one of the Silver Millennium Crystal Palace. I also got, oh, what's his name? The guy from the arcade. I'll have to look it up. I also got Sailor Venus, and this is my foil card for this group. In the second package, I got another one of their school uniforms. Uh, I got a repeat of the first school uniform card. I got Sailor Moon in her school uniform, Sailor Jupiter, a foil card of Rey, which is really pretty. Let's see, the third package, I have one of their middle school, one of Usagi's dad, Sailor Venus, two of Sailor Venus, one of Sailor Mars, and that's my foil card. That's cool, that's really pretty. And last pack, I have Tuxedo Mask. Ooh, I have the enemies. So I have Queen Beryl here and the four generals. We also have the inner Sailor Sunshi, Sailor Mars, a foil of Sailor Venus again, and that's it. So I did get duplicates of the foil Sailor Venus. I'll have to see how much she's worth since I don't want to keep duplicates. Uh, but all of the other ones, other than that one school uniform one, are different. So that's pretty good. Not bad for four different blind bags for trading cards. Now for some clear files. This first clear file is a beautiful foil file of all of the Sailor Senshi, including Chibi Moon down there in the back and the Outer Senshi, including Saturn and Pluto, who don't always get included in everything. Uh, this is a beautiful foil clear file. Really, really like it. The back of it features this gorgeous uh, silhouette of Sailor Moon with butterfly wings spreading out from behind her. So very, very pretty. I really like this clear file a lot. There's also this one, which is a foil clear file as well. This one also has all of the Sailor Senshi on it, as well as Chibi Moon and the Outers. The back of this one is pretty simplistic, but it has this nice, like, doily art. Very cute. This one is cool most specifically, not just because it has all of the inner Sailor Senshi on the front of it with this really nice art, but also because it features 
Queen Barrel and the Four Generals on the back. So this is some really, really cool art of the Four Generals as well as Queen Barrel. It's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. And uh, it's one of those rare pieces of merchandise that features the villains. So I was like, ooh, I want that. I think they're really listening to people when we were like, hey, can we get some villain merchandise? Because we're seeing a lot of stuff from the first season of Sailor Moon right now. We've got shirts from Hot Topic. We've got all sorts of enemy items from the Sailor Moon store. We've got this clear file. So it seems like they're listening to us when we say, we want enemy merchandise. Yes. Okay, next I have some ridiculous looking travel pillows. I really wanted to check out these travel pillows because I do travel a lot. So if I could find a Sailor Moon travel pillow that I liked, then I was absolutely going to get it. I couldn't choose between the two. This thing will stop falling over. So, so I got both. <laughs> so I'll start with this one. It is not memory foam, which kind of stinks, uh, but it might still be comfortable. I'll have to test it out. It says Sailor Moon Crystal on it, and it's got some nice art from Sailor Moon on there. And yeah, it's okay. It's not the greatest though. I don't know if I would use it. I might end up selling it. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So this is the other one I really wanted to get. This one has some pretty embroidery around the edges and it has Luna and Artemis featured on it. They did not do a very good job of getting rid of the little pieces of plastic in between where they embroidered this. Uh, it's kind of, I feel like it might be super itchy to actually use unless I go through and I fix all of that, which would be really annoying. So I'm not sure if I like this one either. Uh, however, this one has this really cute little hoodie that you can use to hide your face while you're on a plane. So you wear it like this, and then you can cover up your face like so. How do I look, y'all? What do you think? Should I wear this on a plane? Do you think people would look at me weird if I was just like sleeping there with my eyes covered by this cute little hood? I actually really like this hood. Like it blocks out quite a bit of light since it is purple. So there's not a lot of light reflecting through it. And I do like that it has ears up at the top. I'm sure they're adorable. I can't wait to edit this and see what I look like wearing this thing. Uh, you can't really feel the itchiness of this embroidery around the edges, so that's good. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Okay, I might keep it. I might actually use this one. We'll, we'll have to test it on a plane and see how it goes. Whew, I got some fancy bits, starting with this fancy bit. This is a Tiger stainless steel mug. It says read the directions before use. Why do I need to read directions before I use this thing? Oh, it's got a lot of pieces. So there's the body, there's a lower stopper gasket, there's the upper stopper gasket with a spout, then there's the lid, there's a lid gasket, and a stopper. Press down and push in the button. Oh, it locks it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it flips open. Oh, okay, this is pretty high quality. Okay, so this is like a travel thermos. It's a really nice one too. So when you have the button up and the lid closed, it locks into place so it won't spill anything out, especially since there's a rubber gasket on the inside of it. To open it, you press it in and then it automatically flips open and it has a nice little flip to it so it won't get your in your face whenever you're trying to drink out of the thing. And then to open it, so there's a rubber gasket on the inside too, which will close up any holes. And it's stainless steel on the inside. All right, this is really nice. These usually sell out really quickly. So I was happy that I was able to get my hands on one. It looks like it's really worth the money. So I'm pretty excited about using this. Another travel accessory that I will absolutely use. I got another mug. This one features all of the talismans of the outer senshi as well as the inner senshi wands. It says Sailor Moon Crystal on it. I thought it would match my other black mug that I got from a previous Taiwan pop-up shop pretty well. So that's super cute. Uh, these are not microwave safe. However, you can put them in the dishwasher and they survive. So I'm pretty excited about that. Some other dishware that I got include these two plates of Artemis and Luna's heads with the crescent moons on them too. Um, I would almost use these for cat food, but my cats just got new dishware, so they don't need new plates right now. So I'm gonna use these for myself. I think these would be great for like lunch or anything else. They are probably dishwasher safe. 
like the mug is. I feel like they will be. They'll probably be just fine. But probably can't stick them in the microwave given that this is made out of that gold material. Uh, they are really pretty, really nice, kind of lightweight, so they aren't super heavy and super, super cute. I also grabbed up some shirts. So I got this one, which is a long sleeve shirt that features Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal. It's a full art piece on the front, so I really like the size of the art on here. I think that'll be really cute. It's also a very thin material. It's made out of Gildan Premium Cotton, 100% cotton, so it'll probably shrink a little bit, but this is a ladies large. This one is also a ladies large with the long sleeves, and this one features silhouettes of the Inner Sailor Senshi. This last one is also a large. Not sure if I like this one as much, because I'm not really big on the like pink lining at the edges. But on the back of this one, it says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. And on the front of it, we have a simple silhouette of Sailor Moon. I got these two cute acrylic stands of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion uh, circled by a wall of roses. I thought they were so adorable and I had to get both of them. I like that they hang too. I thought that would be really cute. This is a really simple acrylic keychain of Sailor Moon and it features Hufuku as well and a cute little rose in the background. I also grabbed up this acrylic cell phone stand and this one features just Princess Serenity all by herself. It's a thick acrylic stand too, so I feel like this will work out well since I use extra large phones like the Pixel 4 XL, which I just got, so I think this will look really pretty. These are a couple of Ema boards, or Emma boards. I'm not sure how to correctly say it, but I collect these as well. I have a bunch of the classic traditional ones that came from uh, Sailor Moon at Mandarake since they were like early 2000s Ema boards. But these two are really cute since they feature crystal full color versions of the inners and the outer Sailor Senshi. The back of both of them are plain so you can write messages on them or wishes. And then you can hang them up since they both have the cable cording. I do like collecting pass cases since these come in handy. I live in an urban environment and I use the train quite often. So I like sticking my pass for the train in these little cases. Uh, both of these are kind of padded. The first one has the Sailor Senshi from Crystal, uh, just the inners, and then at the top we have Sailor Moon's compact brooch. The back of it is a really pretty bright blue color, and you can see your pass case through the little frame there. The second one actually has a Swarovski crystal in the center of a Fuku bow, and it's a hard brooch on the front of that Fuku bow. This one is also a little bit padded. Uh, the back of it is white, and there's a crescent moon on the keychain there. And this one, you can also see your pass case through the little window. I was thinking about using these on my suitcase, but now that I see them in real life, the little straps that they come with are more like lanyards, or in this case, ID card holders is what they are called. So might do better for like conventions or something like that, or actually like holding onto my ID card on me. Uh, not sure if I would actually put them on my luggage. I'll have to test it out. I got two of them because I wasn't sure which one I liked the most. I'm, I'm still not sure which one I like the most, but I kind of want to maybe sell one of them and keep the other. I'll have to think about it because they're both really cute. Maybe I will keep both of them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. These are rings that you put on the back of your cell phone or your cell phone case. Uh, in this case, they're called chara rings. They basically hold up your phone so that you can watch things on them or they're easier to hold so you stick your finger through it and then you are able to use your phone like normal. I thought all three of them were really cute. I tend to go through these little rings pretty quickly whenever I do use them. So I wanted to go ahead and get three of them because I was sure I would use all three eventually. Uh, hopefully the back of them have 3M material so that they hold really nicely. Not sure if they do since they don't list it, so they might come off pretty quickly. I'll have to play with the quality on these and see if they are actually any good. So this bag is actually a insulated bag, which is also really cool. Uh, this does have a couple of handles on it, and this can hold like a thermos or it could hold some of your lunch items if you have some smaller boxes. 
thought it was cute and it didn't take up a lot of room and I also really like the art on the front of this too. This pouch has what I think is a Swarovski crystal on the front of it and this features Sailor Moon's Fuku. It says Sailor Moon crystal at the bottom. There's a crescent moon right on the zipper there and there's a wrist strap so you can carry this around with you and not have to carry your purse. This one is big enough that I could actually put my cell phone in here which I thought was really cool so that's why I wanted it was just so I had a little pouch that I could carry around in case I don't want my purse. This pouch is a little bit weird. It's made out of like a rubber material so it's not fabric. I thought this might be nice for makeup for example like when I'm traveling especially since it's made out of that rubber so like if something leaked it wouldn't get all over my other stuff. This is also a rubber material this cute little fuku bow at the top and it features a silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front. On the back of it it says PNG design and Sailor Moon crystal. This lovely acrylic stand features all of the inner Sailor Senshi in their full uniforms. I thought it was cool because it features all five of the inner Sailor Senshi and it's pretty miniature so I don't think it would take up a lot of room. On the back of it, it looks like it comes with a bottom stand that has this pretty doily print and then the top stand, which is like a background for them. So I think that'll be really pretty once I have it all set up. This thermos was so adorable and I really wanted to get my hands on it. Uh, this features Luna Artemis and Diana in chibi forms. It says Sailor Moon Crystal Dream World at the bottom. So this is like a limited edition Dream World thermos that you could get. I think they sold this with like boba tea on the inside of it or something, but the back of it says Sailor Moon Crystal. And the reason why I liked it so much is because it has this really cute lid. So opening this, it's pretty simple. There's nothing special about it. I just thought it was cute. I love that it has this little strap on it too, so you can totally carry it with you. Just cute all around. These are travel accessories. I'm gonna open these because I was really excited about them. So again, your girl travels a lot, so I'm always looking for accessories that will make my life easier whenever I am traveling. This first one is a foldable duffel bag, I believe. I got the one that features the cats because I like the cats. So there's a zipper to keep the entire bag contained. Once you actually have the bag out of its little zippered compartment, this is what it looks like. It has a Luna and Artemis pattern around the entire thing. It's actually really big and it looks like it's made out of pretty decent material. Uh, it's not the highest quality design. It's not thick material, but it's decent. So I honestly don't know how long this thing would last. Even the handles on here aren't that high quality, to be honest. <laughs> so I don't know if I would actually take this with me for my travels, but for simple stuff like taking this, I don't know, for a weekend camp in or something, that might be just fine. I also think this would be super handy for just like packing a bunch of stuff into it. So like all those towels that I have, all the hand wash towels that I collect, I could totally stick them just all in here and have a special place for them all because there's plenty of room. I mean, just look at how big this bag is. That's a huge bag and it's got a lot of volume too. So it's very wide. So the other one is a three piece set of basically packing cubes. This first packing cube features a big crescent moon and Luna and Artemis at the bottom. It's a big zippered packing cube. The second one just has Luna and Artemis on it again, and this is more of a square format packing cube. Each of these also has quite a bit of volume on it too, so you can pack quite a bit into these packing cubes. The third one is the smallest of the packing cubes, and I honestly think I like this art the most. I like the solid color in the background, and I like the art of Luna and Artemis on there. So each of these packing cubes is not structured in any way. Uh, they are all the shape of a square or a cube, cube, so you have that going for them. They're made out of pretty low quality fabric, so probably won't last through a lot of travel, just saying. And they also don't breathe. There is no mesh lining on them, so they're not going to be breathable material. So if I had wet clothes, for example, or laundry, I would not put them in these bags. So those are decent travel items, but I'm not sure if I would actually use them for my travels because I do go through a lot of flights every year and I'm not sure if those items would actually be durable enough for all of that travel that I do. On the other hand, I have a canvas bag and canvas bags last through anything. This is a thin canvas material. It's got a couple of handles on it. It's very simple, but it's very big. So this would be great for taking to the grocery store. I really like the design on the front of it too. It's very cute. This canvas bag features a full color print of the Inner Sailor Senshi in this beautiful, beautiful print. 
It's great art. I love it. Uh, this is a little bit smaller than the other canvas bag, but I also really like the art on this one, so I'm glad I was able to get both of them. Uh, this is also a pretty thin material. Oh, check that out. It's got Velcro up at the top. That's kind of cool. I like that. I got this bath mat because I'm extra and I really wanted a Sailor Moon bath mat for my non-Sailor Moon bathroom. This is cute. It features some classic anime drawing of Sailor Moon and Luna. It's got a really pretty like watercolor background to it with a bunch of bubbles. I thought that was cute. It's also pretty big and it's got that nice rubber uh, lining at the bottom to keep it from slipping around. I thought it would be cute. I like it. I think it is cute. Lastly, this features the cosmic heart brooch of Sailor Moons, and it is gorgeous. This is also a floor mat, so it's got the rubber buttons at the bottom to keep it from slipping around. This was rolled up when my proxy shipped it to me, so I do have to flatten it out so it's not curved at the edges, but you can flatten it, which is nice. I like the material on this. I really like that it's so shiny. I think it's really pretty and super extra, and it's totally going in my Sailor Moon room. Awesome. And lastly, I got this cute little freebie from my proxy. So thank you to my proxy. This is very cute. I liked it. Oh boy, that is everything from my Taiwan haul. There are a lot of items in there. I think that was my last like giant haul from the year. Everything else is gonna be pretty small, thank God. Uh, so that was really exciting to get through and finally unbox so I could see everything. So thank you again so much to my proxies for helping me obtain all of these awesome Sailor Moon merchandise things that I really didn't need, but I wanted. And thank you to everybody out there who was watching my videos as well. I hope you enjoy these haul videos. If you want me to do any in-depth reviews of anything that you saw on this video, definitely comment below or ask any questions that you might have. If you want prices, I will put those in the show notes down below if I can find them. If not, sorry, I will do the best that I can. All of these were from a pop-up, so you can't find them online anywhere unless you buy them secondhand. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking my content and for commenting on your favorite videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Sailor Snubs in case you are interested in seeing more information and photos of all of my Sailor Moon merch, which I love to collect. I'm obsessed. It's bad for my wallet, but whatever. I'm Sailor Snubs. I will see you on the next video. Johnny.